Hello everybody and welcome to day 20 of 30 Days of Godzilla. Today we're going to be talking about the 20th Godzilla film. Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2. Which is what it's titled here in the US because in Japan it's still Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. Although it's not a remake per se, it's kind of like a reimagining. Calling it Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2 doesn't really make much sense when you think about it because it would actually be the third Mecha Godzilla movie. But enough of that, let's get into the film and see how it holds up. Now for the 20th entry, Toho wanted to make this movie big, so originally they planned to have the original director of Godzilla, Ishiro Honda, direct this movie. Unfortunately, Ishiro Honda had passed away right before they started making the movie, and the film was dedicated to him, so Ishiro Honda, you are a legendary filmmaker. Uh, thank you for all the great films that you've made, and rest in peace. Anyways, this movie opens with scientists taking the remains of Mecha King Ghidorah from the ocean, and with them they are able to create two machines, Mecha Godzilla and a machine called Garuda, which can attach to Mecha Godzilla's back. Although I do enjoy the design of Mecha Godzilla in this movie, and I think it's pretty cool, I still prefer the original Mecha Godzilla design because that one had a mean mugging face, and it was honestly more refreshing than the typical robot that you see here. And he also had a more variety of weapons, and he was just pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Anyways, Japan builds Mecha Godzilla as the ultimate weapon to combat Godzilla. I'll give them some credit here. They at least analyze everything that Godzilla does in order to help compete against Godzilla in a battle, which is pretty good, if you ask me. Anyways, for reasons which I'm not exactly sure of, scientists head to this place called Adona Island in the Beijing Sea. Now, on the island, they come across both Godzilla and Rodan, who is making his first appearance since Destroy All Monsters. Although in this movie they don't call him Rodan, they call him by his real name Radon, but I still like to call him Rodan. And as far as appearances, I know he appeared in stock footage in some other Godzilla films, but Destroy All Monsters was the last film where we got some fresh footage of Rodan. Anyways, there's this egg they find on the island which at the time the scientists don't realize contains Godzilla's son, so while Godzilla and Rodan have a battle, they manage to escape with the egg. As far as the new design for Rodan goes, um, I still prefer the old design here. Call me nostalgic, but I just think it looks a lot better in the Showa series than it does in the Heisei series, but I'm still okay with it. Anyways, the egg that they stole hatches, and, well, I will say this. I mean it, Baby Godzilla looks a whole hell of a lot better than Minya ever did. Minya looked fucking stupid. I hate the design of Minya. Baby Godzilla, on the other hand, actually looks like Godzilla, so... Automatic plus here, people. They got the design a lot better here. Not perfect, but a whole hell of a lot better than Minya ever looked. Anyways, the baby hatches, and well, Godzilla is one pissed off parent, so he comes looking for the baby. So the military brings out Mecha Godzilla to go and fight him. At first watching this, it's a little strange to see Mecha Godzilla as the good guy, because in the original, I'm just so used to the mean, medicine Mecha Godzilla. That's why I like him a little more, more as a villain, but. It's still kind of cool to see, and shakes things up a little bit, because the roles are now reversed. In their first battle, we see some of Mechagodzilla's weapons, and at one point he seems to have the advantage, but Godzilla is able to reverse the trajectory of one of his attacks, which then cripples Mechagodzilla. The military then sends out some more tanks, planes, mazers, and shit like that, but as we all know, it doesn't do shit against giant monsters. When are they going to learn? I mean, they can't just sit there and do nothing, I know that, but... Get rid of the tanks and that. Create another super weapon. Send out the Garuda to fight Godzilla, because your other stuff, it just ain't working right now. So Godzilla continues to search for the baby Godzilla, but scientists figure out that the telepathic link between the two, and they hide the baby in a soundproof area, and Godzilla isn't able to find it. Surprisingly, though, seeing Godzilla not able to find his baby is kind of sad, but the music from Akira Ifi Kube kind of makes you do that. It makes any scene kind of emotional. Watch, I'll just play it right now. See that? Instantaneous sadness. Akari Fikube. Legendary. Anyways, the military goes to repair Mechagodzilla with a few adjustments. Also, the scientists decide to study the baby Godzilla, and after analysis, they discover that he has another brain in his tail, and they plan to utilize this as an attack. Oh, and they gave it a name. It's called Operation G Crusher, and they tend to use this as a way to destroy Godzilla. The name G Crusher sounds like some weird adult sex toy, if you ask me. 
Anyways, the military decides to bait Godzilla into a fight by using Baby Godzilla as a bait, but before they can make this happen, Rodan steals the cargo that was containing Baby Godzilla. I guess he's trying to steal and eat it or something like that, or maybe he was trying to help, I honestly don't know. The military then launches both Garuda and Mechagodzilla to attack Rodan, who can now breathe fire. The fight is entertaining and the music is really intense, which makes it seem a whole hell of a lot better than what it really is, but it's still cool. Mechagodzilla is then able to take down Rodan, and the fight is really brutal here. I mean, Rodan gets all fucked up, but... Like I said, it's pretty awesome. Anyways, after Rodan gets his ass handed to him by Mechagodzilla, Godzilla and Mechagodzilla then have another battle. This time Mechagodzilla fuses with the Garuda, and yes, this form is officially called Super Mechagodzilla. So they are able to launch the G-Crusher and stab Godzilla in his second brain, which basically paralyzes him. So Godzilla is severely damaged by the G-Crusher, so with his last bit of energy, Rodan flies over and basically fuses with Godzilla, which drastically heals like the damaged brain that's in Godzilla's tail and allows Godzilla to get back up and continue the fight. Godzilla is now more powerful than ever and he's able to stop Super Mecha Godzilla with an even more powerful red atomic ray. I mean it, he just annihilates him. Now remember that red atomic ray because it does hint at things to come. So with Super Mecha Godzilla destroyed, Godzilla reunites with Baby Godzilla, who at first is hesitant to accept him as his father, but then just goes ahead and joins him, and the movie ends with the two of them going out to sea. And that concludes Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2. Again, another solid entry in the second series. There are some cool scenes in here. I like that we don't have to wait too long just to see Godzilla for once, and thank God they didn't try to make Baby Godzilla look like Minya. If they would have made him look like Minya, then you would have been seeing a lot more pissed off version of me in this review. Although I still prefer the original Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, I may or may not prefer this one to Terror of Mechagodzilla. I don't know, I still have to decide on that. Well, with that being said, we are now finally two-thirds of the way through this thing. I honestly am so excited. I can't wait to be sitting in the theater watching Godzilla 2014 on the big screen for the first of probably like seven or eight times. And wow, I'm just anticipating it right now as I'm sitting here in front of me. But whatever, whatever. I'm sorry. Excitement. Going crazy. Going nuts. I gotta stop the video before I fanboy out here. So, thank you for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, because we got the next review, and then the one after that, and we finish up the second series. I know, sad face, the second series is really good, so, thank you for watching, be sure to hit that like button, talk to you all later, and see you soon.